The next level is a group of theater geeks playing Dungeons and Dragons. Here is your Dungeon Master, Rob Carr. Welcome to the uh, Next Level's first recap video. Uh, I'm just going to have a uh, quick talk about what happened on uh, our first episode and uh, go over some of the details. So uh, I started off with uh, Gildy, uh, the halfling ranger who'd heard about a new job. There's a uh, merchant who'd not gone uh, missing in the Shadow Forest, but this was a dangerous area that she knew about and thought that perhaps she might need some help while going in there. So she... Uh, recruited the help of uh, Talon, a, an acquaintance she knew in the city, and uh, he agreed to help her and would meet her at the south gate uh, in the morning. But she knew this was going to be particularly difficult and sought for a bit more aid than that. Uh, searched for a good uh, chunk of the evening through the rest of the city, uh, finally found uh, the rest of the PCs staying at the Minstrel's Muse, um, she uh, hires them for the job. She has a little extra gold to uh, put into this and uh, gives Jacob uh, five gold uh, up front for uh, the efforts, at which point she retires for the night and, uh, and tells them to meet her at the South Gate the next morning. Uh, that evening, Jacob, uh, as he's on his way to bed, has a memory uh, of a, a voice uh, and realizes that the bard that's singing at the tavern um, sounds a lot like this voice and might be somebody he knows. Uh, when he approaches her, uh, she says that she is his sister, Lori. Uh, and she mentions something about Roland, who wasn't happy when she left. Um, he also meets his sister's uh, friend, uh, Yumi, who seems very protective, um, and wants to talk to them more, but unfortunately is uh, now on a quest. Uh, so luckily they'll be in town for a little bit of time, and hopefully uh, once he's back he can find out more about this sister that he didn't know he had. And she is staying at the Napping Gnome Tavern in the Lower Merchants District. Uh, Leon uh, wanted to know more about the Shadow Forest, uh, talked to the bartender, Ava, uh, who suggested uh, they go to the uh, Great Library, which is uh, not far away from the Minstrel's Muse. Uh, on uh, their way out of the tavern, uh, Leon bumps into uh, Rindel Prestus, a friend, uh, who uh, tells a little bit more about the Shadow Forest and suggests at the library talking to archivist Talnoth, a tiefling. Uh, Leon uh, goes to the library, meets Talnoth, and is uh, taken to a, a room with a bunch of books about the Shadow Forest, does some research, uh, confirms his connection to the Shadow Fell, and stays there overnight doing uh, their trance um, before the morning arrives. Uh, the next day, uh, Leon uh, first thing goes to uh, the magic shop in the Golden Gardens, known as the House of Wands, uh, meets a uh, high elf uh, named Coromandius who is, uh, you know, likes the fact that uh, they're dealing with another high elf, um, gives a bit of a, a discount on a couple uh, light-producing magical items, the liquid light and the bullseye lantern rod, uh, for about 90 gold pieces. Um, the party meets Gildy at the south gate, and they also meet Talon, who's this tall, dark figure, who just starts following them without introducing himself. Um, Dor tries to make small talk with Talon, and that does not go particularly well. Uh, they travel for most of the day. Uh, Leon convinces Gildy to reimburse them 40 gold pieces for the magic items they bought. At the end of the day, uh, as they're starting to look for a camp, uh, they, a farmer comes running up to them, talking about uh, large insect-like creatures that are attacking its livestock, its goats. Uh, and uh, the farmer had a burn on their, their arm, which seemed to be an acid burn. The uh, party agreed to help and, and uh, take care of the pests, though Tor was quite uneasy about this and uh, didn't particularly like this going in. Um, a fight ensued with these three giant insect creatures. Uh, for anybody out there who's interested, uh, they were Ankheg. Um, one of them was wounded and fled burrowing back into the ground. Uh, the other two advanced and attacked the closest target, which was, of course, Tor, and he did not like that at all. Uh, he was gravely wounded and dying, uh, and grappled by one of them until it was killed. Uh, luckily, Tor was then healed, and immediately began smashing the remains with his uh, large war hammer until it was pretty much pulp. Uh, during the fight, uh, Talon used a boomerang, which returned to him twice, but on the third throw kept going off to the darkness and just sort of disappeared. Uh, Tor seemed particularly unnerved by these creatures, did not like fighting them at all. Um, 
After the two remaining creatures were dead, uh, Talon and Gildy felt uh, tremors in the ground. Uh, Talon used a spell of some sort to cause his own tremors, and that seemed to cause the tremors to fade away. Um, and this sort of assuming that perhaps this was the remaining uh, Ankheg, and uh, perhaps he was scaring, their, scaring it away so that it uh, wouldn't return. The farmer gave them some goat meat and uh, the use of his barn and the hayloft uh, in which to sleep, although Leon was co also convinced the farmer to let uh, them sleep in the farmer's bed. Uh, to repay this, Leon cleaned up and mended everything in the farmer's house, uh, making sure that uh, their stay there would be remembered. Uh, Talon's boomerang returned as they were settling down for bed. Everyone was a little befuddled by that. That didn't actually uh, happen in the stream, um, but uh, that we'll, we'll bring that in for next time. During the night, while Mint was on watch, the remaining wounded uh, Ankheg uh, came back to claim the fallen one uh, that wasn't Pulp, uh, but Mint uh, was able to shoot it with her crossbow and kill it. Uh, during the night, Tor dreamed of a child uh, dragonborn curling up with him. That seemed to help calm him. Uh, Jacob dreamed of childhood games with a, a half-elf girl, but then she vanished as if she was never there before he woke up, leaving him feeling a little e uneasy. And in the morning, um, Leon uh, cast Detect Magic to see what uh, if he could find out more information about uh, the allies around him. That was pretty much it. We'll pick up there next time, and I look forward to talking to you on the next level.